In economics, there are two special terms that I need to introduce to you, marginal cost and marginal revenue. I'll explain what they are in a second, but first, let's imagine that C of X is the total cost of manufacturing X units of your product. For example, if your company manufactures skateboards, C of X would tell you what the cost is of manufacturing X skateboards. If your con company produces skateboards, C of 400 would be the cost of producing 400 of them. Now the question is, how much uh, would it cost to produce one more skateboard? So you're already producing 400. What does it cost to produce 401? Well, that's something that the marginal cost would tell you, C prime of 400. And C prime is just what it looks like. It's the derivative of the cost function evaluated at 400. So in economics, the derivative of the cost is called the marginal cost. C prime of 400 is defined as the limit as h approaches 0 of c of 400 plus h minus c of 400 over h. This is just the definition of the derivative as we've seen before. And of course, a way of approximating this limit is to take a very small value of h. And when you're on the order of hundreds of skateboards, h equals 1 is a pretty small value. So this expression here is the difference quotient evaluated with h equals 1. Now if you look at what the numerator is, C of 401, that's the cost of producing 401 skateboards. C of 400 is the cost of producing 400. The difference would be the cost of producing that 401st skateboard. So that cost of the 401st skateboard is approximately equal to the derivative of the cost function at 400. And that's why the marginal cost is often interpreted as telling us the cost of that 401st skateboard, the cost of producing one more. And there's a similar concept with revenue. So suppose R of X is the revenue function for your company when you, produce, when you sell X units of your product. If your product is skateboards, then R of 400 would be the revenue generated by selling 400 skateboards. So how much revenue would you get if you sold one more? That's where marginal revenue comes in. Marginal revenue is the derivative of the revenue function. The marginal revenue at 400 would tell you about how much you would get from selling that 401st skateboard. So here again is the definition of the derivative. And here again, I've approximated this limit by plugging in h equals 1. And this quantity is exactly the revenue from selling 401 skateboards. This is exactly the revenue from selling 400. And the difference would be the revenue you get from selling that 401st skateboard, the revenue from selling one more. That's what the marginal revenue tells us. So marginal cost and marginal revenue. The thing to remember is that these are just the derivatives of the cost and revenue functions respectively.